Hi everyone, just Mueller again here. Today we're gonna to go ahead and look at gold and I'm gonna show you exactly how I caught 100 pips trading gold. My mental target was 200 pips. It, it absolutely obliterated that, um, but I was happy with 100 pips and I'll show you here why. But first, I wanna talk about EURUSD. At first, EURUSD did, did go down about 50 pips from the time that I called out the sell. And so if you guys follow the break-even method, right, where you become a break-even trader, <laughs> sorry, that's my dog. Uh, if, if you become a break-even trader, right, what I'd like to do is once you are at a minimum, a minimum of 50 pips in profit, you're going to set your stop loss to break even. That is the one thing I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys in the YouTube video uh, so you guys were aware. This way, if you are wrong during a trade, it doesn't negatively affect you. So even though the trade did stop out, it was at a zero pip loss, at a zero dollar loss, because I had my stop loss at exactly break even. So with that being said, I decided to forget about EURUSD for this week, and I was looking for a perfect setup on gold. And it actually came to me here, right here where I'm sitting right now. It was at night, I believe a day or two ago. Uh, whenever I uploaded that video talking about making $1,000 in one day trading gold, that was when this happened. So let me go ahead and show you here. We have divergence, it's a clear sign. Now I do have a lot of people on YouTube reaching out to me on Instagram saying that it's helping them tremendously trade. I actually had a follower uh, copy this exact trade that I did because I have a private Telegram channel for people uh, so I can just call out divergence and they can see what I'm getting into. And I said, hey, I see divergence on gold on the daily time frame. I'm placing a sell. And the moment I sold gold, it dropped right away. And I actually helped a follower of mine make like three or $5,000 on his live account. So shout out to you. Very happy he was able to catch that move as well. Okay, so let's get to it. Right here, you can see we're on gold for the daily time frame. We're on tradingview.com, by the way. This is a free charting platform anyone can use. And if you wanna get rid of ads, then you can pay like 10 bucks a month, but I just use the free version. I used to have the paid version, but then I realized I wasn't even using it, so I just downgraded to the free version. But anyways, as you can see up here, I drew a trend line from wick to wick. So this was where I sold. I sold at the very top right here. So what happened was gold was going up. See, there's an ad. Gold was shooting up and I noticed that it touched the trend line. So that was confirmation number one. Now I wanted to look for divergence and clear divergence. Starting from here to here, it's a downtrend. But if you go straight down, look at the uh, OBV indicator. Starting from here to here, it's an uptrend. So this is going up while gold is going down. So the moment I saw gold touch this trend line and I saw that there was divergence, I instantly placed a sell and it dropped by 100 pips. And then the following day in the morning around 8 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time, gold fell another 100 pips and it hit my mental take profit of 200 pips. So that right there was how I caught 100 pips. Uh, I It wasn't instant. It took about five, six hours for that whole 100 pip move to happen. But that right there is exactly how I caught 100 pips trading gold using my divergence trading strategy. Hopefully that helped you get a better understanding. This is just one example out of thousands of examples that I've done trading with this. And uh, yeah, as long as I can help you guys, you know, step by step learn this. Uh, I'm not offering a paid course. I'm not going to sell signals or anything like that. So I see a lot of people asking me, hey, can you offer a course? Maybe in the future, if I do, it'll be a free course. But yeah, that right there was how I caught 100 pips. So now let me go ahead and talk about something that a lot of traders, especially brand new traders, they always talk about. A lot of brand new traders say, oh, if you don't have a high win rate, then you suck at trading. Or you know, Even if they don't say that, they say that in their head. They mentally think that you need to have a high win rate. You always need to be right in order to be a good profitable trader. But that's actually the opposite. You don't always have to be right. You don't always have to uh, win every single trade. Here's an example, and I talked about this on my Instagram page earlier uh, Earlier yesterday. Yeah, earlier yesterday, I posted about this. I said, it's all about how you manage your risk to reward per trade. Here's an example. Let's say you get into five total trades, and on each trade, you're risking 1% of your account in order to make 5%. You're risking 1% to make 5%. You can lose four trades in a row, but still win the fifth trade and come out profitable. So as an example, let's say you place five trades in a week. You lose four trades, so you lost 4%, but then you win the fifth trade. So you won 5% on the fifth trade. So you officially gained 1% on your trading account, even though you lost four trades in a row. 
So that's what I'm saying. You know, me being in the position I am where I put out this content on YouTube, there's going to be a lot of criticism. There's going to be a lot of people saying, no, it's going to go this direction. It's going to go that direction. At the end of the day, as long as you're utilizing proper risk management and a good risk to reward ratio with your risk management and your lot sizing, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because I have a winning strategy that over the long term, it's just going to keep growing my account exponentially. So that's why I don't care that your USD hit my stop loss. I actually consider that trade a win because I didn't lose. Any trade that hits break even, I consider that a winner because I did not come out negative at the end of the day. So that's just the way I look at it. You don't have to look at it the same way, but that's how I've been able to get to where I am right now. It's because of the way I look at trading. So I hope this video gave you a better insight towards this specific gold trade. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't make a YouTube video about it. It's because it was a last second thing. I pulled up the, the gold chart, looked at the daily time frame, saw divergence, saw it hit the top of my trend line. I placed a sell and it fell 100 pips. I don't use a million indicators. I don't have like constellations on my chart where I have all these different signs. No, I just do a simple trend line, OBV indicator, divergence, simple, that's it. So, uh, you know, there's still a few more things here and there. It's just at the end of the day, I have so much knowledge in my head over the years built up of trading through trial and error that it's kind of hard for me to teach everything in one video. So that's why I'm trying to teach it video by video, you know, instruction by instruction and not all at once. So anyways, I hope that video helped you guys out. So other than that, take care guys. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.